Jay Happ towing that slab. That a boy, Cody. I missed it. The boogie down Bronx. Those numbers are good. Swing and a miss. Bogarts down on strikes. Swing and a miss. McCutcheon goes down on strikes. Listen to the hand for Judge. Batting second in the Yankees lineup is the right fielder, number 99, Aaron Judge, number 99. Line to right field, and it is caught. We thank them for the, the day they put in. Swing and a miss, dropped by Sanchez. He tags out Nunez. Cincinnati boy. And he goes around, tagged by Sanchez. Two away, so pretty unbelievable. Line drive, and just over the try of Labor Torres, so a base hit. For Brock Holt. He's now 12 home runs. Ground ball to Glaber Torres. Over to Walker. That's a base hit in front of Martinez and right as hits. Gets the Yankees' first hit, their first base run. Swing and a miss. And that'll do it here in the second. Line drive, a base hit off the bat of Kinsler. Time was called before the pitch was delivered. They said it was a balk. So the umpire quickly said balk, and that moves Kinsler to second. Let's see if we can see what it was. And that one is off the glove of Sanchez. And that allows the runners to move up. That's probably going to be a pass ball. Now I got to ask, where is this pitch strike and ball? Because this ball's right down the middle of the plate. Fly ball. Right field toward the line is Judge. He'll make the catch. Tagging is Kinsler. The throw is cut off by Walker. Moving to third is Pierce. It's a sack fly for Martinez. It's 1-0 Red Sox. Fly ball shallow center coming on is Hicks. He'll make the catch. Pierce just bluffs. And the throw is cut off by Walker. High fly ball. Fairly deep center. Hicks has room. He's there. And puts it away. 3-2. And there's the bat flip, and he walks. Nine pitch at bat, a walk, and a good one from McCutcheon. Setting the table here for Judge. Hit shortly to set it short. It's going to be a double play, 6 4 3. So he hit the ball well, but right at Sandra Bogart says, Lavaldi gets that. Phillips down on strikes. Chase a high fastball to DD, and he's down on strikes. David, what have the uh, the starter showed you tonight? Do you like cheese? Did he go? Yes, he did. So Walker down on strikes, and the Yankees go down in order against Devaldi. That one is ripped to left field. That's going to be a base hit. It's going to go one hop up against the wall. McCutcheon fields, gets the ball into second, and Bogarts has a double. That one is lined in the right center. It's going to be a base hit in front of Hicks. And they hold up Bogarts at third. Popped up. That will not get a run in. Catch is made by Klaber. Swing and a miss. Ah. Works out of trouble. First and third, one man out. He does not allow another run. Line drive, a base hit down the left field line. And that'll go to the wall as Torres will pick up a leadoff double here in the sixth inning. High fly ball, right field. Martinez back on the track. He'll make the play in front of the wall as Torres moves to third. 
And Judge flirted with a home run. 2-2. Two -two. And that one gets past Vasquez. Here comes Torres. He will score. Oh, they're saying that he got hit by the pitch, so that sends Torres back. So it hit Gregorius on the way by. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. A fastball. Runner goes. There's a strike, no throw. And a stolen base for Hicks. They didn't even cover. Did not even cover second. They gave Hicks the bag. And he works a walk. That one's still deep to right. There it goes. See ya. A three-run home run for Walker. And the Yankees take the lead. Bridge to Kimbrell, and I tell you what, it just shows you how good Ivaldi was. The Yankees got it. And Neil Walker has really put together a great second half and some big home runs. That one is ripped into left center field, and that is going to be in there for a base hit, and it gets past Hicks and will go to the wall. Martinez around second. He's going to third, and he will make it with a triple. Popped up. Walker makes the play. High fly ball down the left field line. On the run is McCutcheon and makes the play on the track. For the, and the 3 2. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. And Judge can't believe it. He tossed away the bat. Yeah, maybe he did. 2-2. Swing and a miss. Got him. And that'll do it here in the eighth. The 0-2. Swing and a miss. It gets past Sanchez. He scrambles after it. Throw to first. And the stretch is by Walker. And he makes the out. So a strikeout put out 2-3. In the mid-90s. Let's see if they turn two. There's one. No! The ball gets past Claver Torres. Moving to third is Holt. Vasquez will reach. Right back to Britain. And he throws the ball in the center field. A run scores. Lynn reaches at second. And it looks like Glaber Torres is down and he's hurt. Another tough throw right into the runner. And then the slide right into Glaber's left arm. Right back to Britain. I'll try it again. There's one. And there's two. Ball game's over. Yankees survive their defense, and they win this nail biter three to two to take the first game of the three game set. Well, it's an amazing ninth inning. I mean, it's. It's such a big win. It's such a big home run, but it's kind of a sour taste in your mouth defensively in the ninth inning. Sevy towing that slab tonight. <laughs> He's going to chuck it in there really hard tonight. Right back to Severino. And he works out of the jam. And here is David Price. On the year. Well, he's really had a bounce back year this year. Had some arm problems last year. Strike three. Stanton down looking. Pitch on the inside corner. Here's Eduardo Nunez, and that's hit sharply to Gregorius. He catches it on the fly. Wow is right. Two away. Low liners. You don't know whether you're going to catch it on a short hop or you're going to stab it. A lot of times, it, you, you know, you have to make a judgment on if it's going to carry. And you see, he's kind of stuck in between, and he plays it back behind him. And that's going to do it. So a nice, easy one, two, three inning. And Duhar with a high fly ball to right field. Martinez back, turning. See ya. A home run for and Duhar, and the Yankees lead one nothing.
Hits sharply to third and through the legs of Nunez. That'll score two. McCutcheon will stop at third. Judge goes to second. 3 nothing Yankees on the E5. 2-2. Two -two. High fly ball, right center. J.D. Martinez is there to make the play. Wind up is a lot like the stretch. You carry it off for your perfect game. Really cool. Mm -hmm. Hit sharply and grabbed by Nunez. That one he fields across the diamond. One away. That was hit much harder than judges. Swing and a miss. Moreland down on strikes. Wow, I forgot about that one. That's right. High fly ball, right field, going back. Martinez turning, looking. See ya. Home run, Voigt. It's 4 0 Yankees. Said it many times. Look, boy, he can't even keep the smile in. Guy likes to play. But his approach against lefties, Pony, is to right center. Ground ball. Grabbed by Nunez, fires to first in the dirt, scooped up by Moreland. Line drive, a base hit down the right field line for Leon. That'll score Nunez, cutting the ball off before it gets to the wall as Stanton. A nice throw to second, but an RBI single for Leon, and it's 4 1 Yanks. I'm not taking anything away from that guy. That guy's great. Had a great year. Betts down on strikes. Popped up, left side, long run, and the catch is made by Andujar. Oh, what a play. Wow, I thought Didi had the angle on this, and Andujar was just stabbed at it. And you know what? I was waiting to listen to you, Michael, because I didn't know who had it. If your fifth starter is just a 500 pitcher, right? Swing and a miss. Popped up. And Duhar makes the play and six very strong innings for Luis Severino. High fly ball, right field, Martinez back, turning, looking, see ya! Another home run for Voigt, a two-run shot, and it is 6-1 Yankees. I don't know who's more excited, the fan or Luke Voigt. Well, I tell you one thing. I, if you're David Price, you've got to realize who point once to take, take lefties to right field. And there is his first base hit coming off the DL. McCutcheon will go to third. A single for Judge. Line drive, a base hit down the right field line. That's going to go to the wall. McCutcheon scores easily. They're waving home Judge. He will score. Going to third is Hicks. He has a two-run triple. Yankees have an 8-1 lead. So good to, like we were talking last night, to, to post that win early. 2-2. Two -two. Breaking ball, strike three. Betts. That one is drilled to left field and deep, giving Chase Travis on the run. And he makes the play. What a play by Sam Travis. When you're going that fast, it stops you in a hurry. Very hard play to make up your mind that you're going to catch it ball and not look. That's plenty of rest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> High drive, right center, on the run is Hicks, and he's there on the warning track to make the play. Nope. This will be a seventh game. I don't think Yankee would double digits, but instead, you know what? He'll take a four for four. And there's the loop chant here at the stadium. The 0-2. Chop back to Cuevas. A run will score, and the Yankees lead 9-1. That one is looped to right field. It is a base hit in front of Swihart. Scoring. Strike three. Stanton down looking. And those are the numbers. Seven and six, 2.48. See 123 strikeouts. All of baseball. 
Line to left field. It is a base hit. Nice play by McCutcheon. And a leadoff single. Sheffield from Tennessee and Price went to Vanderbilt. Popped up on the right side. Catch is made by Torres. Can they get two? There's one. There's two. And Sheffield pitches a scoreless ninth inning. As David said, he had some traffic, but he avoided getting hit in the road as the Yankees win 10-1. to one. He had a full board Deegan traffic jam out there, but he got out of it. And boy, I tell you what, what a relief. It's fun to see. I was rooting for him, Coney. How about you? He showed some guts. He came back with a 94-mile-an-hour fastball, got in a good spot, got bets on the ground, got a ball in his glove. <laughs>
Gregorius gets Devers, and that will do it. But the Red Sox pick up a run with the home run into the second deck by Brock Holt, his sixth of the year. And when it lands, the Red Sox have themselves a 4-2 lead here at the stadium. Swing and a miss. Hicks down on strikes, one away. Wants to see it pay off in a game. And he tips one into the glove of Vasquez, and that'll do it. No runs to hit, no errors, and two men left on base. We go to the fourth inning. It's 4-2 Red Sox. Fly ball, right center. Hicks is there. How about that? A 1-2-3 inning. That one is driven to right field and deep. Martinez back, looking up. See ya! A grand slam for Stanton. And the Yankees lead 6-4. to Oh, did he need that. It's amazing how certain at bats will make you forget about a couple of bats before. I'll tell you what. Stanton knew this off the bat. This was a line drive on a pitch away. Guess what, Coney? He didn't come off of it. He went straight through it. And a curtain call for Stanton. And a high fly ball right off the bat of Gregorius. Martinez makes the catch. Watch this bat go through the ball. Not around it. Out into the bleachers. Four runs later, we're going to go to break, right? Two outs, 0 2 pitch. Grounded to short. This should be two. There's one. There's two. Beck scores, but they get a double play on the hard hit grounder, and the Yankees lead 6 to 5. Goes down to his, his knee, the backhand flip. And Torres casually gets it to first to double up Martinez. To the Yankees, and it is the Red Sox. Bogart swings and misses to end the top of the fifth. Swing and a miss. The horseshoe on the right. Kind of an unusual grip and maybe two or three revolutions. Very, very little spin. And that's what makes the knuckleball so hard to predict as you see it's coming at you. And you see the dancing effect. 12 games to get him back in the game shape where you can trust him. He would not doubt. In Swing and a miss. Devers strikes out two away. Swing and a miss. A perfect inning for Green as he strikes out the side. Popped up. Holt is there. 6 5 yes. That one's driven deep to right field. There it goes. See ya. Tie game. 6 6 on the home run by Bradley. Is the, the breaking ball something with a spin on it that takes a little velocity off and if it doesn't have movement one two high fly ball that should get a run in Hicks makes the catch the throw is to third Lynn scores the throw goes off of Van Duhar and into the seats and that will allow another run to score and it is eight six Red Sox not sure if Hicks makes up his mind right now which way he's going to go. It's almost like midstream he changed his mind. And of course there, there's no backing up that that's up off the ricochet that's 30 feet in the air. Swing and a miss. Holt down on strike. High fly ball left field that ball is gone. A three run home run for Betts. A dagger. And the Red Sox lead 11 6. Well, you throw enough sliders in a certain count, and then Mookie Betts is just too good of a hitter. He has hit fastballs, he has hit sliders. It is his 30th of the year. This pitch. 
Well, another slider, and that one just didn't have any bite on it. And Mookie Betts is having one of those nights. If you make a mistake to him, he's going to hit it. He's going to hit it hard. 102 games. Martinez with a fly ball to Judge. Final out. And the pitch. Swing and a miss, and that'll do it as the Red Sox clinch the American League East for the third straight year. And that's the first time in their history they've won their division or league three years in a row. So a somewhat muted celebration by the Red Sox. Maybe it gets a little bit crazier in the clubhouse, but uh, a lot to be proud of, as you mentioned, David. They clinch early and 104 wins at this point. Very early. They're on a 110-win pace.